Thanks for clicking my ad regarding on the financial analyst and business analyst training program. In this program, we're going to cover a series of uh, technical tools as well as the skills related to analytical position and in order to help you guys to become an analyst. Any kind of analyst, they all require such kind of skills. The advanced Excel comes first. This is the most important skills in the market. And we're not talking about inter-level Excel, and we're not talking about fundamental Excel skills. We're talking about super advanced Excel level. So the secondly, we're gonna go through the VBA, which we normally refer as macros, as well as uh, Access and SQL specifically, because sometimes the company they will require you to know how to use Access and SQL to manipulate a huge volume of data. And fourthly, um, we're going to talk about SAP FICO, as this is one of the most important uh, the ERP system in the world. Uh, and the majority of the company in Canada, in Toronto, are using this uh, ERP system, as well as the uh, this module we call it as FICO, Financial Accounting and Cost of Controlling. So this is the module responsible for um, accounting side. So basically today we're going to talk about the advanced Excel which is the first course under this training. Okay, there's one more thing I need to emphasize. This training program is different from the regular IT training because this is all the program, all the courses will be conducted in order to help you guys to become analysts. So I won't tell you how to use Excel. I won't tell you how to do the VBA programming or access those, those kind of a database. Instead, I will merge and I will blend a lot of scenarios, a lot of cases into the training. In another word, when I'm teaching you the advanced Excel, I will teach you a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, modeling and uh, uh, budgeting and forecasting and uh, data mining, reporting, and so on and so forth. So, all in all, by the end of the course, you will know much, much more than someone who completes just the IT training about Excel, okay? Because you know when and how you can apply such skills into the real scenarios okay so in order to give you guys more detailed image about how my course conducted I'm going to record some of the topics in my training course in order to give you guys some feeling have some taste about my course so before we move forward uh, I just want to give you guys some hands up my advanced Excel training class will be conducted every Thursday 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. and here is the, the address and you guys can uh, google it and uh, try to come over because you guys are all welcome to try my class for free we will have uh, some other experience can share with each other for example job placement how to do interviews and how to prepare yourself to be employable and uh, even when you are on position when you're on the contract, um, how can we support you to secure your job and also to solve your some problems in your work? So let's step into the real content in my advanced Excel class. I'm going to give you guys some taste about how this program works. So in the class, I'm going to give you a lot of uh, Excel workbook. So when you open each one, you will see a lot of data and I will tell you how the scenario is and we're gonna work on that I'm going to do some reporting based on this huge volume of data in this reports um, in this data in this raw data uh, this is the data which we generated from um, this is the data which we generate from some kind of a ERP system or some kind of a database each rows you can say it's a sales record or the invoice or the transactions from different branches, from different shops. Okay, well, we have a region, we have a location, we have a sales rep's name, and we have a customer number, city, and a zip code, and a financial year 01 and a financial year 02. So now I'm going to run a very, very important tool which is called Pivot Table to mine the data. In another word, to do the data mining and finally come up with a report because nobody is interested in analyzing the data in this way in the raw data way 
So I'm gonna go to pivot table and I'm gonna run some pivot table. So now I would like to see the regions, locations, and cities. And the financial year one and the financial year two. So now this report doesn't look very nice, but after my decoration, okay, after my decoration, and I'm going to make this report more informatively and more uh, making sense. So maybe you seen I have done too much things. Maybe. You won't be able to memorize, but uh, which is okay. I just want you guys to understand w uh, what are we going to cover and uh, how we're gonna conduct each topic. And for sure, those kind of stuff will be covered later on when you're really sitting in the class. So I'm going to sort this report. So when we have this report, your your boss would love to see. Uh, how uh, which which city makes most and which city makes list? So I'm going to do uh, sorting stuff. We're going to sort this report depending on the financial year or two, as the financial year or two is the most close one. And I'm going to do one more time on this layer, which is location. And I'm going to run another sorting based on region based on financial year 2 so you see everything are in order everything are in order but we can make this even more fancy I'm going to let me make this bigger I'm going to do one thing to make it be more interactive so when you make your report in this way and you and you send this report to the different manager maybe that manager is interested in seeing those regions but what if he wants to see the breakdowns? Double click on the south, double click on the north, and then he can go into the breakdowns and see the, all the data in detail. So it's pretty interesting, and it, it will uh, give you lots of lots of options, and uh, it's pretty interactive. If you want to see everything? Just go back to expand entire. Okay. So what if I want to add one more column? I want to see how much is the year-to-date revenue and how much is the growth percentage from FY01 to FY02 so I'm going to do one more thing I'm gonna name the new column in my pivot table as uh, year-to-date sorry year-to-date revenue and I'm going to set up the formula as Financial year one plus financial year two. And I'm going to add, click OK. So you see, we have a new more column, but this column is not in my raw data. It's not in my raw data. And I'm going to add another new more column, which is gross percentage. So the gross percentage will be equal to. Financial year two, minors, financial year one, and the difference will be divided by financial year one. And I'm going to click on add, click OK. So you see, the only thing we need to do just rename the column name and change the number format to become percentage. So everything will be nice and easy in this way. So when your boss received this report, he would be very happy because you have given him enough information from the biggest to the very smallest. And also you have created some extra column so which makes him know more information about it. How much is the total number, how much is the gross percentage. So this is uh, just one of the very simple uh, topic which will be covered in my training program. And uh, the way I'm training is will be exactly in this way so I will have a scenarios and I will topics and I will merge those techniques into those uh, uh, scenarios so again if you guys are interested in doing my training uh, or if you want to just uh, try my class is really valuable feel free to drop by 
the address like this where we're locating Shepherd and Victoria Park and the timing for the class is every Thursday 7 to 10. Okay, thank you so much and hopefully I can see you here.